Hey guys, it's Rachel, and as you can see, I am in a new location, and that is because I'm testing out this area of my room where there's more natural light. That way, I don't have to use my artificial lights as much because I find that they always wash me out. They wash out my makeup, they wash out my swatches, and I want my videos to have a little bit more true to color. So I thought that having natural light would be a lot better. It might be bad for me because natural light seems to emphasize all my imperfections and my lights that I use for filming usually make me look a little bit more flawless but it's okay it's not about how I look it is about the information I'm giving and I want all the colors to be true to color anyway it's actually kind of relevant in this video because today is, is not a swatching video but today is a quick tip video I want to give to you guys about liquid concealers so I feel like people always say that cream concealers are better for covering acne and blemishes and dark spots because they have a thicker consistency so they kind of conceal better. However, I feel like I found the secret to making liquid concealers work on blemishes and dark circles and to make them give really, really good coverage. So the quick tip is to let your concealer set a little bit. Like what I do with my MAC Pro Longwear is I dab it under my eyes and then I count to 15 and let it set a little bit and then I'll kind of smooth it out. Not pat it in, blend it in yet. I just kind of smooth it out around my whole under eye area. I'll let it set for another 15 seconds, and then after that 15 seconds, I'll blend it out, making sure it blends into my skin correctly. And I feel like since liquid concealers have a little bit of a thinner consistency, it does make them a little bit harder to cover dark circles and dark spots. But if you let it set a little bit, it'll get a little bit thicker in consistency. Not drastically thicker, like it's gonna look cakey thicker. It's a little bit thicker to give you a little bit more coverage. And I feel like this works really great. And I found this tip also works really well with my Makeup Forever full cover. This is very full coverage, I know. But sometimes, you know, when you have like a really, really, really dark spot on your face, sometimes even the most full, con full coverage concealers, aka this, doesn't always cover it up. And you have to do one or two layers, one or two, two to three layers before you can cover it up fully. And I feel like when you let it set a little bit, like when I have really, really bad dark spots, I use this, I let it sit, I dab it on, I don't blend it in, I just dab it on, I let it set for like 15-20 seconds and then afterwards I'll pat it in very carefully and to make sure I don't remove any of the coverage and it looks very very natural and it gives really great coverage, more coverage than if I was to blend it out right away. Because I feel like when you blend it out right away, since the consistency of liquid concealers is so thin, you're literally just wiping it off your face and blending it out into nothing. So I feel like letting your concealer sit is very important when working with liquid concealers. This also works great with green concealers. Green concealers are very tricky. I feel like a lot of people don't think they work because they blend them out right away and they just blend into nothing and they just sit there and they're like, my green concealer did nothing. Why does everyone use them? They're not that great. Well, I learned with this concealer to let it sit before you um, blend it out just because I guess the skin kind of absorbs the green pigment a little bit more so that the area you're trying to cover and cancel out the redness will become neutralized first. So just dab it on, let it set for like 15-20 seconds and afterwards just blend it out and then apply your skin tone concealer afterwards. It'll give you a more green tone that cancels out all the redness that you want to cancel out with your green concealer. So hopefully I didn't talk too much in this video. I want this to be a very quick tip for you guys because I find it annoying to have to switch from cream to liquid when working with concealers because I need one for under my eyes, I need one for this problem and that problem and all these other things. And I just wanted to show you guys how you could use your liquid concealers to cover up like your dark circles and also for your spots and things like that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!